I'll be running round the field with my willy hanging out, saying I have found a gold ring of it, you. Yes, I am. No, you ain't. Ha, The weekend is here again, metalheads. I'm out detecting on the hill. The weather is gorgeous. Just like me! So we're off and running, metalheads. First signal of the weekend. We're pinpointed deep, so 10 inches. And I think it's another pot leg. Why are there so many pot legs on this field? It's quite mysterious, really. Let's see what else we can find then. Nice repeatable 86 signal on this all the way around, all directions. Another little farthing. I reckon we've got George the Fourth this time. Now he don't come up very often either. I think I've only ever had one George the Fourth coin. Just make him out, look into the left there. Give him a tumble. And there's Britannia. Right, Operation Pink stuff for this little beauty. I think that'll come up quite nice. Yes, happy. A buckle this time, but I've never had one this sort of design. That's really quite cool. Some kind of lug on the back of it as well. Perhaps that's where it pierced through the leather. Don't know where to date that. Post medieval, maybe pushing into Georgian. Nice. Silver, yet again, metalheads. Piece number 27 of the year. And you ain't whacking the Garrett 400 eye. Thimble. Or was a thimble. Looking at the engraved design on that, I'd probably say that was a Charles Horner. So, late uh, 18, early 1900s, Victorian in nature. Shame the plough's done the bizzo to it though, isn't it? Still, silver is silver, and I love it. Wow, metalheads, look at that for a coin. Size of a manhole cover nearly. It's not a cartwheel penny. It's not got that thick rim around it. But I'm sure that's George III. Look, you see just above my thumbnail, G. And the monarch's face in the right. Might get that cleaned up at home. I don't know how pitted it's going to be. But dirty great 96 signal on the Garrett. Weren't no missing that bad boy, was there? We've got a tiny little clasp this time. Let's uh, flip it over. Yeah, it's got a tiny little flower embossed on it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You can see that on somebody's clog, maybe. Excellent. Nice bronze coin again, metalheads. Going back to the late 1600s. Golimus. So, uh, William III. Quite clearly readable around the outside of the coin on the left-hand side. There he is facing the right, with his little bow in the back of his hair. The reverse side, it ain't too clever, but a bit of cleaning, might get a date from that. 
let's give it a try at home another coin but this time a modern decimal coin 10 pence piece the year 2000 not what I'm after at all I'll be running round the field with my willy hanging out Saying I have found a gold ring of it, you Yes I am, no you ain't Ha 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 Fuck me metalheads, I think I've done it I really do What we got here This is looking well promising Oh my days, the garret's only gonna smash it. Woohoo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was straighten out a treat. Now, let me give it a clean up, see if there's any markings on it. Gold! The garret's it fucking gold! Woohoo! -hoo -hoo. Oh baby, baby, baby! He's doing the gold dance! <laughs> well done, my son. Gave me palpitations, I can tell you, Grady. OK, Metalheads, let's uh, run the coil of the Ace 400i over this ring, give you some number readings. Seventy-one, seventy-two. We round this way. Still pulling 71, 72. A bit round here. 71, 72. That'll give you some kind of gauge of VDI for where gold could possibly come in for you. Well, here we are, Metalheads, roundup time. Not the greatest board full but some absolute quality here. Starting from the top, just a few buttons this time. Stonking great pot leg. Couple of buckles. Rather ornate little clog clasp there. That's looking good. Teeny tiny thimble. Three decimal coins. A rather cool looking buckle. Thumping great George the Third penny. I think this is a copper penny rather than a bronze one. That's why it's so pitted. I'm just not going to get any more detail off it than that. Down to the better finds William the third half penny George the fourth farthing can't get a date off that but his reign was 1820 to 1830 pretty good condition that Silver, what I think is a Charles Horner silver thimble. So, early 1900s on that. And a real stonker of the weekend. 22 carat gold ring. Now I've spoken to a couple of antique dealers and a jeweller. They can't give me a precise age, but they're talking mid to late 1700s, possibly early 1800s on that. So, let's trust the experts, like they've been telling us for the last two or three years, no conspiracies about it being any older, thank you. Keeps it out of Treasure Act. I've been to speak to the farmer. He's absolutely delighted with my honesty of going back to see him. And he's told me the best thing to do is I keep it in my safekeeping. 
and a very generous offer. What a belter. Three years it's taken since my last gold to unearth this one, but I'm as happy as Larry. Right, until next time, take care, metalheads.